Let's read Tessa Tiger's Terrible Tantrums. Tessa Tiger was very good at playing sports, but she was not a very good sport. Most of all, Tessa liked to play t-ball. In fact, all the students in Alphabetti's class liked to play t-ball after school. They had split their class into two teams. Sometimes Tessa's team won. Then Tessa would throw her hat in the air. She would twist and twirl and she would hoot and holler. Sometimes Tessa's team lost. Then Tessa would hit her hat against a tree. She would stomp and storm. And once she even stuck out her tongue. Stop, Tessa, don't do that, her team told her. They were becoming more and more upset with Tessa. One afternoon, the t-ball game was especially exciting. The score was tied, three to three. There was one more inning. Tessa's team was first to bat, but no one scored a run. Tessa's face looked stormy. Then it was the other team's turn to bat, and their first batter hit a home run. Tessa's team lost the game. Tessa Tiger threw her most terrible tantrum ever. She tossed her mitt into a tree. She kicked a basket of balls and stubbed her toe. Then she tripped on a bat and fell. Tessa tumbled topsy-turvy to the bottom of a hill. And there she sat, crying buckets of tears. Both teams rushed to help Tessa. Are you hurt? They asked. No! Screamed Tessa. T-ball is stupid! All the kids put their hands over their ears. They tiptoed away. Tessa trudged home. She felt terrible. Her mitt was lost. Her shirt was torn. Her toe hurt. And worst of all, she had a temper tantrum tummy ache. The next morning, Tessa's team talked with their teacher, Alphabetti. They told her about Tessa's terrible temper tantrum. Tessa's not a good sport, they said. She takes the fun out of playing t-ball. We don't want Tessa on our team. Tessa's team didn't know that she was just around the corner listening. Alphabetti sat quietly for a minute. She tapped her toes. She twiddled her thumbs. She thought things over. Then she smiled. I have an idea. Later that day, Alphabetti made her class their favorite treat, peanut butter on toast. While they ate, she told a funny story. It was about the time she threw a temper tantrum when she was just a little lion cub. I had painted a picture of my twin sister, Alphabetti told the class. I had painted it on the tablecloth with ketchup. It was a great artistic masterpiece, but my sister washed it out. I was so angry with her, said Alphabetti. I threw a real fit. Talk about temper tantrums. I tossed around so much. Do you know what happened? She paused. I twisted my own tail into a knot. All the students gasped. But the thought of Alphabetti having a temper tantrum was just too funny. The students were tickled. They started to giggle. And they giggled until their tummies hurt in a good way. Then Alphabetti asked a question. Do you think temper tantrums are helpful? Tessa blurted out, no. After that, words tumbled out of Tessa's mouth. Temper tantrums hurt your tummy in a bad way, and your friends don't want to play with you anymore, ever again, in their whole lives. Two big tears trickled down Tessa's face. What can you do instead of losing your temper, Alphabetti asked the class. Her students had lots of ideas. Stop and think before you blow up. Try to make games fun for everyone. 
Always be a good sport, win or lose. Tessa listened quietly. Then very softly she spoke. I'm sorry about yesterday. I'll be a better sport from now on, honest. That's great, Tessa, her friend said. Do you want to play t-ball after school? Tessa smiled. You bet. Tessa Tiger's team lost again that day. Everyone turned to look at Tessa. What would she do? Well, Tessa did not have a temper tantrum. Maybe we'll do better tomorrow, she grinned, and maybe we won't. But win or lose, there'll be no knots in our tails. Then Tessa started to giggle, and Tessa Tiger and both teams laughed until their tummies hurt in a good way. The end. Thank you for reading with me.